can speak again. I've also washed my hands, which means I can shake Richard Roman's hand. Good to have you back, buddy. Same here. Nice to doing? see you. You know, we have said this many times, no knife in your kitchen should have a lifespan. That's right. Because we all have that, uh, that drawer where knives go to die. Yeah, the ones that are dull, That's and we keep thinking to ourselves, I'm going to take these and have these sharpened one That's day. Right. And you know when that date is? The 12th of never. <laughs> um, so go into that drawer, get those knives out, and use the sharp shark. But this doesn't only work on knives. That's it's right. also designed one of the few uh, devices like this that can also do scissors. That's right. So you, first of all, you have our patented suction cup design, which is, allows it to secure it to any countertop smooth like a granite or a Corian. It has the tungsten carbide grooves that's going to sharpen the knives right here on the top. And then on the front you see you can sharpen scissors. So any straight edge or serrated knife can be like brand new and any craft scissors or fabric scissors which can cost upwards of 50 to 100 dollars you can sharpen those as well but David, wow. what i love about sharp shark is this patented suction cup design because when we put this on a smooth countertop okay you have a little clasp here when you engage this clasp while pushing down okay i'm going to wait for that let's here you go you ready there's a little clasp that's that engages this this suction i cannot move this so why yeah, is the that the whole table shaking yeah i mean why is that important you'd say well first of all when you're sharpening a knife and you have your hand near the knife, it's dangerous, okay? The other reason is, when this is secure now, all I have to do is worry about one motion, and that is pulling the knife in one direction. And it's very important because there's an arrow on here that tells you which direction, because you only want to pull it in that direction. But you can take any knife. This is a large chef's knife that's from one of my restaurants. It's over 20 years old. With just a few passes, you can actually see that edge is now glistening. You see how shiny it is? But let me show you how sharp it is, okay? okay. I'm gonna take it to a tomato, a nice ripe tomato. Tomatoes are notoriously one of the most difficult things to cut. Watch how it just slides, and I mean glides through this tomato. It doesn't pierce the tomato. It doesn't tear the skin. It gives you perfect razor cuts, just like the knife when it was brand new. And this is how every single knife can be restored to that <clears throat> razor's edge in your drawer. And the best part of all is if that knife is serrated, if yep. it is uh, a nonstick coated knife, That's right. a colored knife, a groove tech knife, yep. a pocket knife, whatever the case may be, even a cleaver, a meat cleaver, That's you're right. going to be able to sharpen in this. And you get two. Uh, of what, uh, when you order these, and they come in combinations. Sure. So no matter what color you order, you will get a black one. That's right. Okay? Correct. So what you're ordering is the color that goes with black. So let me take you through what sure. we have for you. All right. This is red black. <clears throat> this is white black. Purple black. Blue black. And green black. Green black is our most limited. Over 3,000 ordered for the day. 300 in this show, free shipping and handling, and three easy payments. Are you kidding me? Three payments of $7.59. It's, it's crazy. You know, it's one of my favorite things to give people because they always come back to me and say, I cannot believe how easy it was to get my knives sharp again. And they couldn't believe how dull their knives were. Here's, yeah. here's what most people have in their drawer, right? Is a, a, a steel when they're block or drawer. Problem with a steel, when you go to sharpen it, you have to get the perfect angle. And even after my over 20 years' experience in the restaurant business, this still takes a lot of practice. The other problem is the danger of pulling the knife towards your hand. Mm. So we don't want you to do that. But here's what I'm going to do to show you how you can take the dullest knife in your drawer. I'm going to intentionally dull this knife, David. I'm going to run it across the steel. This is called blunting the edge. It's flattening out the edge, making it useless. To show you how dull this is, we're going to try to cut something <coughs> as simple as a sponge. Now we talk about it, you know, a sharp knife is a safe knife, but a dull knife, you have to push. Now notice how this is moving. I can't get through this sponge. I'm pushing hard. That makes the knife dangerous. I may slip. Can't even cut a sponge. Well, you can take this useless knife now if you have sharp shark go right to the tungsten carbide grooves, and when I pull this through, you can actually see little metal shavings are coming off the knife. What does that mean? It's actually re-establishing that edge, that 20 degree angle that makes the knife sharp again. And with about six to eight passes, I can feel that the edges come back on this knife. So now I'm gonna take this over to that sponge that we couldn't cut a moment ago. I want you to see what happens, mm. okay? Remember before we couldn't cut this sponge? Watch what happens. It goes through it like it is brand new. This is what you can do to every knife in your drawer, make it razor sharp again. Now, awesome. Now, we showed you knives, right, David? Right. So here's what I love about it, okay? Again, that suction cup design. When I lift this clasp up, now I can take this off the countertop, right? Well, if you flip it around, you're going to notice on the front is a picture of scissors. We, this is our only sharpener with a, a scissor sharpener, right? So now you take your craft scissors, your, your fabric scissors, which can cost a lot of money. You put the flat side up, and there's a little arrow only in one direction. And because it's secure, I can hold the scissors with both hands and simply pull that blade through the, the sharpener. Now, what's great about this is it doesn't require very little pressure. I don't want you to push hard when you do this. Flip the scissors over, flat side up. 
and again, all these directions come with the sharpener, and that easy, you've taken those craft scissors, those fabric scissors, and you've put a new, perfect, razor sharp edge on them so now they're going to cut like they were new so every knife in your drawer plus scissors that's awesome this is so easy it's so fast and it's colorful yeah. we've got lots of great colors you will get black with whatever you order please remember that these are three easy payments they're free shipping and handling and we are getting busy on our phone lines all over again automated ordering call to talk with a representative two fastest ways to get through right now 3500 for the day a thousand in this show here's white black here's red black <clears throat> Blue black, purple black, most limited is the green black. This is three payments on your credit card and free shipping and handling. That easy pay and the free shipping will all go away end of day today. So David, let's talk about all the knives and sit every single knife. So if you have uh, uh, somebody who fishes or hunts, those pocket knives, those fillet knives, you can do that. How about serrated edges? You mentioned that before. Most sharpeners can only do straight edge. Now notice, I'm using one hand here. This is secure on the countertop. And again, very light pressure. You do not have to push down, and you can see it's one motion. That fast, I've taken my serrated bread knife, and I put that brand new edge on it. You can see how shiny it is. How about something like a big heavy cleaver? You know, you're looking at this and saying, wow, that's really compact. Don't be fooled by that, David. You can actually pull a heavy cleaver through it, and you can see these shavings coming up. And again, what that's doing is it's reestablishing that perfect edge on the blade, so now you have a razor sharp brand new edge. It's literally, when you get a sharp shark, it's like getting a brand new set of knives in your kitchen. How about the Groove Tech knife? So if you're wondering, all these different, this is that great knife that And Meredith before you get into that, remember what yeah. Meredith always tells us about the Groove Tech. Yeah. While the blade is wavy, the edge, edge is straight. That's right. Which is why it will work on this. That's right, so a few <laughs> passes. And you know, here's the thing, David, we keep saying a sharp knife is a safe knife. Well, with Sharp Shark, every knife becomes sharp again. But check this out, when your knife is sharp, you don't have to use that pressure. So when you're cutting, and I'm gonna go over here to cut some food, watch what happens. You literally just glide the knife. I mean, there's no pressure. When your knife is sharp, it's a, not only a joy to use, but it's safer because it goes exactly where you're telling it to go. That's how every single knife now can be in your drawer. Sharp as a day it was new. Let's remind you also that you're getting uh, a black one with whatever you order. So what you're doing basically is ordering the other color that you're looking for, right? So 4,500 for the day. Almost 2,000 in this show, and let me just say, I'll come a little closer to the yeah, camera sure. for emphasis. <laughs> it is a rare occasion when we do three easy payments of $7.59 <laughs> on an item that is this wildly popular. And then if that weren't enough, free shipping and handling. I like that close up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just wanna make sure I had your attention. I know it's a little later in the show. Some of you are kind of, maybe you're dozing off a little bit, and I just wanted to say, free shipping and handling. <laughs> Three pay, sharp knives and scissors, <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so here we go. So David, I love what you just said, sharp knives. Everybody watching, you know, if you have a kitchen, you have knives, and almost everybody has knives that are dull. And again, I wanna show you this, because so many people are intimidated by sharpening knives. It's difficult, it's complicated, it's cumbersome. So let me show you something. First of all, this is the typical knife sharpener a lot of people have, okay? It's a two-stage sharpener, but the problem with this is you have to hold it with one hand, put the knife near yeah, your hand. Yeah, it makes me nervous just yeah. when you do that. And then you yeah. have to hold this steady on the countertop, so it moves around. With Sharp Shark, it is secure. You can't move it with that suction cup. But let's show you again. I'm going to intentionally dull a knife because I love doing this demonstration. We've dulled this knife like, like 100 times in the last few months. I'm going to run this knife the wrong way against the steel. This is what happens when most people don't sharpen the knife. Now, Rick, let me ask you a question. You've really blunted the edge That's on right. this. So if I've got a, a drawer full of old knives that are really pretty dull, how many times, well first go ahead and yeah. show us this, it's well, not gonna work on the spot. I just want you to see how dull this is. I cannot, this is this is a knife now that is useless, right? I can't cut through a sponge. So my question for you, if it's that far gone, how many passes do I need on the Sharp Shark? I'm gonna say about eight to 10, okay? okay. And and again, you know what you're gonna, what's great about the Sharp Shark, there's, you can't mess and it we're up. Gonna, and, and slow down if you, oh, yeah, if you sure. can, just so we can see. I want you to look for the, the little shavings yeah, that come off here. Do you see the little filings come off? Yeah, there's a, You know what that is? That's your brand new knife edge. And the brand new knife edge is going to glide through that sponge, but a whole lot more. And I can feel it, Ooh, David. Here's now. a nice shot. Look at this. See that? Hello. Those are those little filings. That's what's making the knife sharp again. Now I can feel it. Now here's another important tip. Because you're taking metal off the knife, David, 
you always want to clean the knife before yeah, you use wipe. it. Yeah, give it a give wipe, wipe or rinse it. So now I've got to go back to that sponge. Remember, we couldn't cut it before. We're it was coming a, in for a nice close-up. So it was go. a useless knife a moment ago, and now it literally goes through it like it's brand new. I mean, it, it amazes me every time I do this because we keep dulling this knife and we keep making it brand new again. Hey, let me tell you, if you have an old food processor, and you're about to throw it into the donate pile or throw it in the garbage because the blade is so dull, you can actually I sharpen your food processor blades. So think about if you tried to sharpen food pro processor, let me try that again, food processor blades. Oh, you, welcome to my <laughs> and world. And you had to hold yeah. the sharpener. With Sharp Shark, I love it, it's secure to the countertop. So you can use your hands to brace the processor blades and pull them through. And guess what, David? Those processor blades will get dull and instead of chopping the food, they wind up mashing the food. Well, if you want it to work like it was Look brand new. filings coming off, you yeah. see them. You see that? And this is a serrated process. I want to blade. thank our director, Judy, who got us that extreme close up. Yeah, I love it. A little earlier, I was accusing her of still being on vacation. Even though she's here tonight, she's not. Laser focus. That's awesome. Laser. I love it. So now, what we're going to do, again, to show you how easy it is to get off the countertop, you lift the clasp. It now comes off the counter. When we flip this around, you'll notice on the front there's a picture of scissors. Again, this is our only sharpener that does scissors. This was one of the biggest requests a lot of the QVC customers And it customers has a had. little diagram so you know which direction to pull the scissor blade. Yeah, and here's always put the flat <coughs> side of the scissor blade up. So you start with one side, David, and again, because it's secure, I can focus on just gently gliding this through the sharpener. And you can feel the sharpener grab the blade. A few passes, you flip the scissors over, and then you can do the other blade. And now all those expensive craft and, and fabric scissors, guess what? Now those blades are razor sharp, ready to go like brand new again. Now, Rick, you're going to get a black sharp yep. shark with whatever combo you order tonight. So just think about the other color that you'd like to get along with your black. So 6,000 for the day, 3,500 in this show. You have white black to choose from, red black, blue black, purple black, and most limited is the green black. Three easy payments and free shipping, but that easy pay and free shipping will expire end of day today. I like to say this is where the rubber meets the road. We have an hour and six minutes left in our show tonight. A lot of you are gonna be making those purchases and that easy pay and uh, the, um, the free shipping. Yeah, absolutely. Will run out end of day. Now's the time. Do you have an old knife? Yep. A really old knife? Check, I mean, David, I found the least expensive, oldest beat up knife I can find. So whether you have expensive, inexpensive, old, new, every knife's gonna need to be sharpened. Watch this old beat up knife, a few passes. And again, David, you'll feel it when you're pulling it through the sharpener. You don't have to push hard. You'll feel it honing the edge. And just that fast, I can feel that this is now razor sharp again. So when I go to something like a tomato, I mean, this is probably a $3 knife from 20 years ago. Watch the way it cuts this tomato. I mean, ooh, look at that one stuck to it a little. Ooh. Perfect slices, and they're coming right off. Let me get a thin one here, you ready? Well, I mean, think I about mean, look it. at this, David. This, this tomatoes like have that super tough outer skin and that super delicate yeah. flesh on the inside. That's right. A dull knife would mutilate the outside mutilate. and then just tear up the inside. This is why you want your sharp shark for the day now. How many? Seven thousand in this show alone. Over 4,000. I have a trivia question for oh. you, but you must turn and look only at me because Stacy sometimes gives Oh, clues. okay. Uh-oh. She can be a little bit of a cheater. Stacy, talk All right. Uh, no, mm -mm. <laughs> All right. So, you know, we're celebrating KitchenAid month. Okay. Okay. 25 uh -oh. years of KitchenAid on QVC. 25 years. Uh -huh. Where is the KitchenAid factory located? Is it Greenville, Ohio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Bayfield, Wisconsin, or South Bend, Indiana? Look only at me. I'm going to go Wisconsin? Greenville, Ohio. Ah. The kitchen Come on. moved to Greenville, Ohio factory in 1946. Interesting how the number of correct answers goes down when you're not allowed to look over in Stacy's direction. Ah, huh. I'm not sure about now, that. I realize she's a lot more attractive to look at than me. However, she tends to be a bit of a trivia cheater. All right, they opened their factory in Greenville, Ohio in 1946 after the end of World War II. Oh. Because I would imagine after the war, they were able to get metal Lots more easily. Of metal. Yes, that's right. Because that's remember, right. it's all metal construction that's on that right. stand mixer. Um, all right, so I'm going to see you Sunday. Sunday. We're with a screaming good Ooh. deal on all clad. I can't wait. I can't wait either, buddy. Good nice to see you. Back. Have a great night. Okay, are we taking a break or no? We are taking a break. All right, come back uh, in the shot uh, here, Rick Roman. All right, so we're going to take a break. We've got one up. hour left to go. I know, stand up straight. Uh, <laughs> we've got one hour left to go. We have a one day only price coming up from Kansas City State Company. We have the freshest cashew you're ever going to put in your mouth. And your final look at today's special value. It's in the kitchen with David. Oh, and there are the steaks. Oh, they with look bacon. good. Bacon. They look good. Bacon, Stacy. Bacon. <laughs> Emmy Award Week.
week and all eyes turn to Hollywood for the latest style trends. Join us live from Los Angeles for a celebration of some of the most popular names in fashion, accessories, and beauty. Plus, exclusive highlights straight from the Emmy Awards red carpet. Get ready for your close-up with Red Carpet Style live from Los Angeles, Monday beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern. From my career in television to my life as a best-selling author and health advocate, I am so passionate about sharing my wellness journey with you. So let's get to know each other during my show, A New Way to Age. Don't miss Suzanne Summers later tonight and Friday on QVC and tomorrow on QVC2. Hey, foodies, this Sunday I'm joined by the lovely and award-winning actress Valerie Burton.